Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk and Fire podcast. I'm having a lovely Kamal Tai with me. Damn, it feels good to start a podcast. Yeah. This last couple of podcast you were starting, but for some reason, yeah. I love it when I started. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes. Now then, I have uh, no, now since I've gotten the pace, mm-hmm. now I feel like starting every time. I also have some things in my mind that I'm going to start like this. and mm. i want it to be different every time <laughs> well seems fair komal yeah. was just not teaching me how to sit for a podcast Thanks for that <laughs> i always realize that why is this mic at my face all the time hopefully this time it, it is not yeah so you're more pro at podcast than me exactly How's that? no i don't know like you watch podcast more than me but it feels like like i'm the one who gives the quickest solution and the most uh, fit solution according to this uh, situation well technically i listen to podcasts so i never pay attention to how it should look but you, you also used to see it like if i say jorogan but nobody watches podcasts no i don't know about you though because that's the thing that i like about podcasts most people just listen to podcasts don't tell me that you you haven't even watched it for one or two minutes earlier i used to Yeah, no, you I did don't. at one yeah. stage of your life, right? Yeah. You did ultimately. You got me. Got <laughs> two minutes in, Komal wins already. My yeah, God! Yeah, the debate starts. <laughs> It's always like that. <laughs> yeah, are little. But astronaut. nowadays, I'm winning more. I don't know how. <laughs> Because I just. Fine, no point on arguing with you. No, it's not. You also get some missive at that moment. Like, mm. yeah, you're saying true. Mm. All right. You're true. You, everything you're saying, it's truth. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. How, t- tell us or uh, talk us through your journey of enlightenment. How did you become so cool? <laughs> How do you know everything, Miss Komal Thaya? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm perfectionist. Uh, uh, it's I don't know. I'll tell it, you. I always like it's all whenever like in research also when you okay. find problem, so you always get to basics. It's something like that only. You, you want you me to it. break it down scientifically, Komal? <laughs> sure, why why, why you win all the time? So my experience in Don't nuclear tell science. Don't think that you are egoistic and you always think you are right. <laughs> no, no, no. My experience in nuclear science and engineering and space technology lets me explain that you always win because you're a girl. <laughs> no, no. I all it it's it's irrespective of gender. And whenever we talk, you never uh, you never just put your hands down in front of me until unless it makes sense. And I remember our conversation in Starbucks when you were adamant on this thing that no, this can't happen and this this is not possible. But ultimately, after like. F- 30 hours hmm. not 30 hours so 30, 30 minutes. minutes conversation you finally put your hands down and you said okay yeah you make sense yeah you make sense no <laughs> don't tell me don't tell me you did that no you were not in that zone that you're going to hmm. do that just because i'm a girl okay yeah, yeah. correct that is a very serious <laughs> accusation i didn't like it it's <laughs> a very sexist accusation yeah but just for fun we can do it every now and then people are very sensitive these days yeah even i am mm. yeah <laughs> all right so in case you are wondering this is not our topic of discussion for today exactly you don't even know <laughs> what we are talking about you Some don't even random know random shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i know we are going to talk about i want to talk about two of the stupidest revolutions of this world entire history and i want you guys to guess what i'm going to talk about two stupid revolutions in history and uh, maybe you can guess it but we are going to discuss it by the end so some of you guys will get some history lessons so some people are wondering why did i stop talking about world war 2 all the time i stopped it because of you partially just because just like i stopped talking about joe rogan all the time <laughs> right oh god but that, no i feel guilty <laughs> <laughs> no but it is about time but you know better than anyone else over here that i've consumed like a 10 terabyte ton of information on world war 2 since the last time so i have like infinite times more information and about other revolutions as well so we are going to talk about two stupid ones maybe it will be historical information to some of these people i don't know if i can compete with the kohinoor information that komal dropped a couple of episodes ago <laughs> but uh, because mainly because i don't have the level of preparation that you had other than that we are going to talk about the social media depression now okay. it, it's going to seem like a very common rugged up topic that everyone talks about 
and you're right but then again we are going to give it a different perspective as always uh, then that we are going to see along the way yeah hmm. how it goes and where it goes mm-hmm. so basically ashish stopped talking about world war 2 or hmm. jorogan but he <laughs> never never stopped watching it or listening to it yeah. right yeah yeah every time you'll see ashish he's always immersed in these movies hmm. where hitler is there <laughs> not because he's uh, hmm. uh, he consider h- him as one of the proponent or uh, someone hmm. he see as someone he see as something uh, role, role model or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah but one mm. thing i've realized that history always teaches you so many things guess so many what things. i got it komal makes... to watch few episodes yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is a big deal komal does not watch any <laughs> anything with blood so i said that yes. it's black and white blood so maybe you can watch it <laughs> but, but she watched i think three or four episodes yes starting yeah three, yeah which, which is a big deal i'm proud of that yeah uh, but to do for, like in my dreams i'm just fighting and i'm just running and um, ghostly things and all they just haunt me yeah what she, to do she starts to get nightmares yeah <laughs> she can't walk in dark places i, uh, I don't walk i just like it just, they hmm. just haunt me hmm. yeah. all right so we are going to talk about that later but let's start with this social media thing that is kind of new now we can kind of talk about it because fortunately we were at a time where this was not everything yeah there was a time <laughs> for a lot of kids it is not even uh, something that they can perceive but there was a time where your social media credits or followers did not really mattered yeah you did not need to post pictures so that your friends think that you are having a good life mm-hmm. now now it is everything and uh, that day that day, the the whole argument or conversation started uh when see that was that meme right it is really depressing when you find someone exactly of your more same age more talented than you and your day is ruined <laughs> and much much more successful at at the same age as you right yeah. and that is very true that day you were showing some model who was like 27 years old something like that and has already gotten a phd four five research papers and not phd but like <laughs> paper published and yeah. all yeah yeah and on top of that she's like a international level model yeah so uh, activist and uh, yeah, yeah, i do yeah. not know next she is going to get a nobel peace prize or something <laughs> <laughs> and, and and all of a sudden i said and one. a flag bearer for sustainable hmm. uh, fashion yeah 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 and then i said oh my god I'm a mess. I've not done anything. And, and I was like, okay, I have also accomplished things. Come on, like, yeah, you have done it. Yeah, you look at Gigi Hadid and you're like dead now. I'm nothing now. Uh, she's almost of my age and yeah. I feel like uh <laughs> but as as I got inspiration from Tik Tik Boom, hmm. never compare your age. Hmm. Yeah. Never look at yeah. your age. Uh you know my friend one of my friends so I said, man, we are going to get we are going to enter 30s very soon he said 30s is the new 20s bro <laughs> <laughs> i like that i like that that makes me feel good but anyways no matter how old you are yeah. and that that starts to happen more as you grow older because exactly. w- when you're in your teens you can always say hey he's much older she's much older uh. <laughs> but but in my teens you know what happened justin bieber happened and justin bieber is exactly my age <laughs> <laughs> So okay. so you always end up comparing yourself yeah. you know, and and that is all hyped up because of social media because now you are going to compare yourself with your friends as well Yeah but you know Ashish this does not happen with me hmm. like when whenever i see romi whenever i see gigi whenever i see bella and all all these models hmm. victoria and I, i never come like i see like obviously there is a, uh, there is a wish to mm. go over there and mm. to show my talent on an international platform but at the same time i feel that it also depends where you are starting off when everyone's starting point is different how can i compare myself with them they are already born in a first world country mm. and uh, i'm already struggling with my finances i'm already mm. struggling with my personal issues and they must be having but not the same issues which i'm having over here mm. it's completely different sometimes they sound bizarre right mm. so there are many issues especially for girls 
over here like mm. in country like india you have to just become independent and then you can uh, think of your things which you always wanted to accomplish above and now all, you're going for it above all your parents won't support you no matter yeah, what yeah so do. you have to act independently you are master of your own so the moment you tell your parents that i'm going to do whatever i want to do They'll that's say no. that's <laughs> <laughs> that's where the support ends so either you're yeah. going to listen or you're going to do everything on your own exactly so yeah that is that is true but let us bring another picture yeah. two people starting at the same point and they are struggling equally everything is equal even then it does not mean that you're going to le- reach the same level of success from your standards at the same age yeah if, if, even if i have to watch someone mm. who has started from the same like i can see like they have yeah, started they from the same country but mm. they must not be in the same condition and situation i have grown up in mm-hmm. so i never compare because i know they must be having different struggles but when i look at my story at my past i feel it's i'm not demeaning them or something uh, putting them down i feel like it's very different mm. and it's very deep Hmm. someone would have really given up already hmm. so i'm coming out and i'm putting my efforts i'm putting my all to my career to my path where i want to go so i think it's i never i never ever compare it considering these facts but uh, won't you won't you agree that that will make you very complacent no like i want to grow i i'm just i'm completely focused on my growth hmm. it's irrespective of that how like when i'll when i'll compare when i'll start comparing hmm. then i'll be having maybe inferior inferiority complex i want to little bit of comparative uh, or nature or competition is not healthy it is like i'm not saying that uh, it is healthy but uh, hmm. it it depends on the person for hmm. me i never compare like that hmm right i okay. always like i i know i have the zeal i have the fire and you know that whenever i do my work hmm. i do it more than 100 more than 100% and when it's come to modeling it's more than uh, like whatever number you'll All give right, it right but right. let let's not talk about you though yeah we can just yeah. talk about generally okay yeah in general yeah don't you think that little bit of competition is healthy little bit of jealousy is healthy ego is healthy yeah but people don't see the mark there is no line between this jealous jealousy that's what we learn and competition that's what we learn over time that we yeah, learn to that balance you have to consider yeah that i'll agree on that mm. we have to just learn it with time how to control our some jealousy. people just burn with it Exactly. There's no doubt. There's no doubt in that. Exactly. Like, they also try to burn the person who they are seeing on social media. Yeah, yeah. They'll try to accuse them and they'll try to put mm. hate comments. And just on the latest, I remember on the my latest reel, I got this hate comment. Mm. Right. I think that you would get that in every right. Yeah, every <laughs> in, in on social on YouTube also on this reel, it just hit my mind with mentioning that hate comment. The uh-huh. latest one was that only. Uh-huh. So it just hit my mind. Uh-huh. So like that, I just I'm just trying to say that some people burn themselves or uh, and also try to burn others also mm. who they are comparing themselves to. Yeah. Right. So in in uh, out of jealousy. So if they are not doing anything, they want other person also to just give up everything and they just uh, be on the same level as they are. Most people say though that you should not compare with other. What you are saying actually that most successful people, if you listen to them. they are most of the time going to say the same thing that yeah. do not compare yourself with other yeah. uh, don't have competition do your own thing do your best compete with yourself all these good stuff but i have to always look at people who are super competitive and did great things in their life yeah like it's every type of people are there and mm-hmm. when you look at the journeys every type of journey is there but one so thing you can't i can't rely on one jo- journey of a one person yeah but one thing that i see kind of common in all of those people who compete a lot who compare a lot they never find peace after success do they okay. um some do really give me one example Okay first you have to tell me what success mean to you then only I can tell like you Like I said it's not my talk it's yeah. not yours I'm trying to talk in a general term Yeah So when you look at people let us take an example of Michael Jordan no? I I'll say I'll I'll take example of Connor Hmm he did not improve in terms of whatever yeah, he so, was criticized for So what And what his whole thing was was being a double weight world champion And when he achieved that Yeah 
he is not any more peaceful or any less arrogant until unless he started losing and then we see a whole different what we saw with ronda rousey like yeah. ronda rousey after losing we all saw how she behaved yeah 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 right yeah so these people who drive everything with competition yeah even when they are winning even when they are on peak yeah you don't really find them to be very modest or happy or gentle kind of people right yeah that's what we call uh, that uh, they can't handle the fame and success well and that's when that's that's where these these things get introduced like uh, they don't know how to grow further because they are so much immersed in the fame and success yeah so i literally can make a video of comparing <laughs> should not even say this i can really make a video comparing conor mcgregor with hitler <laughs> like he really used to talk like a dictator like a dictator level ego is like i'm everything i'm this i can predict future um um if i say this is going to happen this what just go ahead and say that you are the god and he did say that as well <laughs> yeah so so if if it is all for show it's completely fine yeah but if it is not and that's something that happens to dictators as well yeah so initially they try to show this persona that they are the god otherwise there's no way that common people are going to follow exactly. them they're just like everyone else they're having the same flesh and blood so why the hell will others follow you so you have to show that you are something superior you have been gifted every every dictator had some propaganda and uh, when that happens it starts for with a show for others and then ends up consuming them as well yeah so so they turn out believing their own lies exactly when that happens well it it happened with hitler it happened with napoleon you you pick up any dictator you're always going to see that exactly ashish and maybe that happens with a lot of these people who are in the domain of sports exactly. who have to depict a kind of persona and it consumes them as well yeah. so like i said or like i did not say <laughs> ego jealousy most of the time goes out of the control but it did not go out of control for me but i i'm not yeah. successful as well <laughs> no no it it depends no you are growing you are putting your 100% i know how much hard work uh, you do how much efforts you put into anything you do so mm. according to me you are successful and i think according to you also you are successful right yeah, yeah. comparing to ashish who was who was in 10th or 12th you are far 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 <laughs> yeah. successful right you have worked on your weaknesses you have worked on your setbacks limitation you have conquered them and now here you are shining like a diamond yeah thank you for making <laughs> me feel good kamal about myself <laughs> but but most people yeah that is another thing people have different measures of success they act like our parents like we hate the mentality of our parents yeah but at the same time they do act like our parents right so <laughs> so how will a common crowd judge a person's success or yeah. failure yeah well how much money do you make how how much properties do you own how much popularity do you have like i've talked to sponsors as well and all they care about are views <laughs> like, like, yeah exactly like you have this many views you have this many subscribers well if i had to get a lot of views i could do no staying i could yeah. do <laughs> lip syncing why would i run a goddamn podcast this is the worst thing to get views man that one too. hour long 90% of people don't even click it <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking that at too, the that too with no clickbaits <laughs> yeah with no clickbaits with with topics like a different trajectory half people did not understand the meaning of that yeah and keeping the uh, the language english <laughs> yeah. we should do like hindi and talk about relationships and, all the time and and put thumbnails like this ye nahi dekha to kuch nahi dega ye nahi dekha to paida hone ka koi fayda nahi yeah so so yeah we we in general and we are all culprit of that yeah. sometimes or the other we all look at the views and the number of followers exactly that pains mm. me a lot ashi just now you said <laughs> that you are not successful you are you're putting your 100% mm. and it does not mean where you are like then i think uh, elon musk and jeff Be- bezos they should be the uh, most successful people. yeah but they must not be if you, they must not be they may not be maybe 
yeah may not be i just uh, use the wrong word they mm. may not be right yeah so it depends on a person's perception maybe elon musk maybe he's aiming for mars civilization and he's still at the starting point and he's not considering himself as successful mm. right yeah. so everyone's agenda is different everyone's uh, definition is different and someone's i think most of the people's definition is getting fame getting lot of money that mm-hmm. is success and that is bullshit according <laughs> to me that really pisses me off when someone says like i remember one time one person said to me uh oh, she she has a make a big name in the industry nobody knows her something like that in mm. comment like mm. excuse me mm. <laughs> like like that can be according to your definition but according to me i'm putting my 100% mm. i'm uh, struggling i'm going forward i'm better than the yesterday i'm liking myself more than yesterday yeah. and i ask myself that have i mm, made improvements hmm. i always say yes i have made improvements yeah. and that's what success is yeah so yeah. so if you if you start talking about people who are more successful are the artists who yeah. go for very unconventional routes let us say a person left his job to become a singer all right now everyone will appreciate that but then we have different standards it's like levels of cages that is always going to be over there now yeah. now that person has to get so many hits so many downloads needs to get signed by this record level yeah so so it is always again now you are going to roll with the punches listen to what people are saying so why did you leave your job then yeah you could have listened to other people by yeah. following that same old rusty route that you were told to follow Yeah. So it's it always gets you. So I I made one talk thought video which is a series you might not know about but its topic was sooner or later the world will get you. Yeah. And <laughs> and just leaving your job or going for an unconventional path is not sufficient. Let us say everyone told you that you cannot be a good hockey player and you said I can be a good hockey player and then you went out over there. Yeah. and then you again over time started to roll with the punches this is what you need to do and then it becomes your job so ultimately it remains the same thing yeah we have seen lot of people know they are telling me down the line in mm. fact i'll talk about my profession only mm-hmm. because yeah uh, i have the experience with that only so mm. i have heard very recognized models talking to them mm. so they have told me like uh, after 3 4 years you'll get bored bored yeah i i don't think so like it should not if you are getting bored then it is not your passion hmm because it should be something which keeps you moving it's we do get bored but not forever it's not like i don't want to do it they get me. bored for forever and they yeah. just stop doing it it's like it. you take a break that is yeah. a different thing yeah th- that is okay that hmm. is i'm not saying i'm saying boredom for a longer term longer term yeah like bored we always get bored if we all keep doing the stuff for 24 hours 48 hours obviously i need a break yeah. not that kind of bored bored like on a permanent level saturation kind yeah of. yeah mm. bored if i say bored term then mm. it's on a permanent level yeah so i've seen people mm-hmm. so uh, i don't think so mm-hmm. that uh, i will ever be bored mm. of my profession mm. because i know how much excited i am when i am i'm on the shoot matter of I'm fact if, if of you shoot. really like it you'll feel like one lifetime is not sufficient exactly. to do all that i want to do yeah right? and you'll find it i always say it you'll always find yourself uh, doing it in daily habits mm-hmm. and if you have been if it is in your daily habits then you have been doing it for the time you have lived here on the earth mm. right and so if you haven't been bored for this much time so how can you be bored for that much equal time mm. ahead in the future yeah right so i never got bored of making videos exactly yeah. because you love that yeah i never got bored of making podcast either yeah mm-hmm. i did not get bored of martial arts for how long have i been doing it's like my age minus 8 years <laughs> i feel like i have put ashish in a different zone yeah. where he's like uh, pondering over things <laughs> komal is a very enlightened person <laughs> ladies and gentlemen listen to you <laughs> Listen to me. Back with the bang. <laughs> This should, is talking for a podcast. You should too. all talk to Komal Taya. <laughs> Komal Taya should be a psychiatrist. I think I should just sit on Asta channel. <laughs> <laughs> Asta channel. Aaj ka gyan. Sunla. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
लॉट ऑफ टाइम वेन आशीष मेक सेंस आई ऑलवेज से दैट तुम्हें आज तक चैनल पर पता है तुम्हें which is not bad as well a lot of people like if you start talking wisdom people start <laughs> making fun of you but sometimes it is good sometimes yeah, just sometimes just kidding it, just kidding <laughs> it is okay right so yeah. we started with the whole thing so what i was saying is that nowadays because of the whole social media thing people are just so stuck to numbers almost like we are mm. computers exactly what what else measures everything with numbers computers so we are becoming computers that's a new simulation theory by the way i must be like <laughs> writing a book on that <laughs> right so we are becoming computers now and computers are becoming human which will control us later yeah. they are becoming becoming more and more intelligent and artificial intelligence is going to yeah you. they are producing more and more bo- bots and bots. then they are <laughs> increasing the likes views oh, yeah. and numbers of followers and subscribers <laughs> everywhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> right when yeah. people try to play you play them back yeah. <laughs> what if what if here's a con- conspiracy theory yeah what if um internet has already got its senses and okay. it wants to promote all the stupid stuff online Yeah. all the lip syncing the most stupid videos the most useless content and yeah. it is increasing randomly the followers and likes of those people and that's it, actually the propping and dashi of many countries it <laughs> it it wants human race to become dumber and dumber so that it is easier to control when machines and artificial intelligence gets the control how about that <laughs> yeah you know in the very first video of yeah. uh, very first podcast mm. of uh, this Talk, talk and fire podcast yeah, yeah. TikTok we talked band. about that yeah, we talked about that that this is one of the biggest strategy and it is one of the proficient strategy mm. which is working like anything on the mm-hmm. youth mm-hmm. like if you just this is a very uh, famous saying that if you want to crush any uh, nation or country just uh, destroy their youth mm. just blind their youth and that's what is happening yeah right Yeah what if what if there's a war going on online <laughs> different countries are trying to make other countries dumber and dumber Exactly in which case China definitely will win because it has banned all the external <laughs> sources <laughs> but you never know but you should not talk anything bad because a lot of things are happening what they pick you up play that yeah, for people <laughs> like there are a lot of things are happening for people who are saying bad about China so god damn we it. don't want ourselves at risk I love China. <laughs> I love China too. <laughs> yeah. You you have to trust me because I love kung fu as well. <laughs> no, uh, but I love Amy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we should we talk about that now. We should not talk about that. There's like I think there is something wrong with political party but citizens they are never at no, fault. No, come on, stop over there. There's like political interest of two different nations. We should definitely not talk about that. We'll just move on. <laughs> whatever we had talked we have talked about political party and not about the uh, innocent people <laughs> okay let let me just clear that <laughs> all right we, i thought that i'm going to start talking about something else but ended up talking about something else yeah. uh, would you believe that we have been talking for the last 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> okay now yeah. i want to talk about two of the dumbest revolutions in the history of this planet <laughs> So today I'm going to just sit silently and just listen to Ashish because it's this change. time. Yeah, this <laughs> time Ashish has come with this very brilliant topics. Throw them up. You want to shut Komal up talk about history? No. <laughs> I just was going to say that if you want to shut a girl up start talking about history then i yeah. thought that that is so feminist man. Exactly. Then- I, even I feel offended. <laughs> Ashish I'm going to walk off. I was just thinking it as a joke but then again you can't make jokes anymore. Exactly. Your sense of humor <laughs> you throw it down your garbage. Everyone is sensitive and 10 years down the line god knows someone is suing me. Okay. Hopefully by then I'm successful to sue them back. But <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm, silence over here. If I'm not if mm. I'm not time to sell my podcast. <laughs> by the way guys did you know I've been getting offers for the last 2 years to sell my YouTube channel. Nobody knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody yeah. even can imagine the valuation of my YouTube channel. Even I can't. So I said no to them. <laughs> Re- I really did not know the actual number that I should say. Like it can be 10 folds, 
or divided by 10 did not know all right yeah. anyways with that thought hanging in your head <laughs> are you going to s- sell it hmm? somewhere down the line hell no obviously hell no. <laughs> even if you were in favor of that i hmm. would not have let you do that <laughs> komal would have locked me in in a basement exactly <laughs> and declared the word that he has been missing so <laughs> he can't sign anymore <laughs> he has given all the rights to me yeah and i'm declaring today that this channel will never be sold <laughs> okay anyways no it's not going to happen probably <laughs> it's never going it's to kidding. happen <laughs> most likely <laughs> yeah no 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 i'm pretty certain about that yeah <laughs> cool <laughs> okay now we are going to talk about two dumb revolutions exactly any guesses so far french how many revolutions do you know by the way uh french hmm i guess in vietnam also one was there i read it in my history class did you there was a war in vietnam yeah 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 so hmm. something i read over there hmm. and uh, american yeah. also american revolution yeah. and uh, russian revolution correct yeah so i heard them in the revolution how the hell did you forget about indian revolution indian i said in last indian oh, did you yeah <laughs> okay all right now indian so i was certain about that so i just thought to include it in last <laughs> yeah no no indian revolution was pretty smart matter of fact i respect it i respect it more than american revolution okay. you have to you have to study the the independence of other countries to understand how unstable these independences are okay like for example a lot of country got independence <laughs> like britain captured half of the world and the rest half that it could not french captured it so almost every country got its independence and uh, when they did most of them went to turmoil a lot of civil wars happened even in america but india it is pretty stable so far and i don't think that it is going anywhere yeah. democracy is pretty solid we are the biggest democracy in this world mm so you have to respect those people who took in charge right after the independence exactly so indian revolution is pretty smart okay. two of the dumbest revolution <laughs> number one let's start with the time period now right yeah. so the one that happens right. before will be discussed first okay so the first one is the french revolution and why is it dumb well here's what happened so there were monarchy monarchy was over there king louis was the king at that time and uh, there were different segments of people and the weird part is that the richest got taxed the minimum the poor got taxed most so they were starving and one day the peasants decided that they are going to revolt all right this i know <laughs> this you know yeah. and they went the most violent that anyone has ever seen that literally started chopping heads off they chopped heads off that's where the guillotine was invented and straight up killing everyone from the family of the monarchy and wiping everyone out and then came napoleon bonaparte and over time initially he started with i'm going to establish uh some system over here some structure over here so that people common people gets good rights things like that And then he started declaring himself king and started de- declaring himself emperor and over time he started thinking that i'm almost a god so might as well call myself a god and then he invaded the rest of the europe and then he invaded russia and then he went to moscow yeah. he sat on moscow but then tsar was very smart at that time he just used scorch earth method and he walked away and then napoleon and his army starved and they had to run back right so when the tsar and the others like uh, austria i think and uh, britain these were having coalitions at that time and they came back to paris and they sat on paris now and they sent napoleon to exile yeah and then established another monarchy over <laughs> there and who is this monarchy is like a cousin of king louis who they killed back in french revolution mm. so they did everything and got right where they started oh so it does not make any sense and when you properly look at it revolutions But are we can't say that is dumbest we can say that is most tragic uh, tragic most tragic one yeah because 
they they just accepted violence like in india there were two parties like when revolution was taking place half of these people were very non violent yeah right the mahatma gandhi side right but there everyone started killing everyone who is from any upper class and without any regard to what their standings are and then ultimately the same wherever they started that's where they ended so there's no point to that and this spanned across somewhere like 50 years or so so ultimately they are back over there so when you look at revolutionaries they're not always peaceful and that is what you are going to understand from the second example and they do not always have the best interest of the common public in their mind yeah sometimes revolutionaries just want to take control in their own hands yeah why should the kings have the power in their hands fun <laughs> i'll have the power we'll have the power we'll yeah. rule right and that's exactly what happened so napoleon was a very brilliant military strategist he raised the rank very fast he was winning wars after war and he found out that i can gain this power more power more power and it never ended right but uh, thankfully his end was not that tragic he was just sent to exile where he could write about himself and that's where he it ended okay so yeah. not going into detail i'm talking about the second dumb revolution <laughs> okay and here you'll understand my perspective even better so the russian revolution yeah. started somewhere around when the world war 1 was happening and ended right so the tsars again were the monarchy over there yeah and uh, what they used to call bolsheviks was run by lenin at that time from which stalin what was the term did you use bolsheviks what is that well uh, what's the best way to kind of revolutionary what it means in russian i'm forgetting i'm going to put it over here okay but but it is just a term that they used okay, okay. so in they, what context do you use they were revolutionaries okay they want to in the same manner overturn the monarchy okay. and establish something which is for the people yeah. and what was for the people at that time it was socialism they were of marxist mentality yeah and what we know now as communism and please understand communism was not what we see as today what we look at communism we see oh a dictatorship but back then communism was like like a cool thing they thought that this is the solution for all the human beings and democracy was kind of like a younger brother people did not pay much attention to it yeah. so you have to understand at that time more than half of the world was either colonized which is also same as monarchy or actually under the leadership of a king right so these these open minded people they thought that this is very unstable it is never yeah. going to work what is going to work is a single person dictating everyone and telling others what to do yeah so communism was a good thing at that time half more than half of the russia supported it and they toppled it they toppled the whole tsar dynasty but there was there was some rebellion who wanted the kings back and they were winning as well but they kept zar and his entire family as captive i think three three daughters and one son and zar zar's wife zarina i think they called and just when the other i think they called other one the white army yeah and these bolsheviks were the red army and okay. the communist when stalin was there at that time also russian army were called the red army right Okay. So the white ones started to win, and when they were approaching the capital, they killed all these Azars, mm. straight up shot them dead. And now you don't have a monarchy because that's the big thing about monarchy that you have to maintain the bloodline. Yeah, you kill all the blood. Who is going to rule now? Rule now. So yeah. So this happened, and then what happened? Lenin took charge, and basically what he did is removed one monarchy. and became the king himself he never called himself a king yeah. but because the whole everything changed from monarchy to communism yeah but what you are looking at is a single person dictating everything else dictating lives of every other person and that is why kgb is so strong russian intelligence because back when zars were there they were using it to spy on their people like the king side yeah and after t- after they took control yeah. they used it the intelligence agency to spy on their own people that who's mm. talking against me yeah. and whoever was against them 
they are dead obviously you right. have to be yeah. <laughs> yeah no answers no questions you're dead yeah. there, there's no one who's th- so this is kind of worse than what what they had as a monarchy yeah and then stalin took play it took over and people do not understand see hitler was evil there's no doubt stalin was no better what uh-huh. what he did was kind of almost the same thing what what hitler did yeah what what the red army did on german people were straight up atrocities i showed you all whatever they did yeah. they, there was nothing peaceful over there exactly they had no sympathies for the civilians and hitler had no sympathies for the civilians yeah hitler had no sympathy for the german civilians yeah. stalin had no sympathies for the russian civilians he caused uh, a famine in what kiev close to that okay so that that fine quote that i talked about that day a dictator will burn its own and country just rule over the ashes <laughs> yeah so that is what you see all the time right so this is again you remove the monarchy and then you bring communism and then you go for a stretch of long time yeah. and how long did it last until the ussr disintegrated and still it's going on to some extent or the other mm. right yeah. because that is that is engraved right it's it's your history so it can be wiped out from the surface but because what happened after world war 1 when the kaiser invaded france he lost and when he lost that mentality is not going away and that caused world war 2 and that is why it was important for the for the allied forces to completely obliterate the nation yeah they are not going to let anyone stay over there the same happened with japan when they dropped hiroshima and nagasaki bombs they said that i'm not going to let anyone stay over here yeah. other than the monarchy who was over there he just became a figurehead kind oh, of thing yeah. rubber stamp uh so uh who, what was his name takeshi something I'm going to put it over here. When I need to remember, I forget. And when I <laughs> does not I when I do not need it, I kind of remember it. But there was a monarchy uh, in Japan obviously, yeah. and he was not completely removed. So yeah. in 45 when they took over, yeah. He was not removed. He was kept over there because the people were blinded. They were blind followers of that man and he had to be over there. You cannot just kill that man, right? Yeah. but still they completely removed the government because uh, because that is what happened in the first world war a lot of people say that treaty of versailles was very brutal to germans yeah. but you let the government exist over there and yeah. sooner or later it is going to go back up yeah. right so those were the two dumb revolutions <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was very enlightening ashish ranjan <laughs> yeah yeah you should you should know about this but not worry about it too much because these things sometimes happens most of the time we are pretty peaceful right now most of the time we are peaceful now yeah. but earlier we were not peaceful most of the times yeah 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 you never know nowadays also things are very like nowadays getting crucial i feel nowadays people are going to do mass murder legally you won't even figure out how it is happening what happened who is who is culprit who's victim with technology people are doing it yeah there is so, one that isro case no yeah but, remember yeah. like if if that guy would have gotten heart attack then he would have died and yeah. people would have said like he died of heart attack but it was a conspiracy yeah so now people are using technology to yeah like achieve po- the agenda poison kind of technology was always there that is yeah. what happened when when they tried to find out what poisoned alexei navalny the the one man who was speaking speaking against putin no yeah they found out that he has been poisoned by um uh, by a poison yeah. which russians have always been special uh, special with like it was their speciality since the cold wars yeah so that is an old technology but now now it is like hacking and they they are yeah. in your life and there will be blackmails and yeah so it is a whole different like now people are aware right that is the best thing that we have right now yeah that is why it is extremely difficult to have a dictatorship pop up like nowadays also the people who are like actually dictators 
yeah have a cover over there like we we are democracy or something like that right yeah. so we are giving power to people as well but they cannot do it openly what what hitler did like i'm openly going to kill jews it's not going to happen anymore but then again because because of the technology and the awareness but they are having this technology as well so they are going yeah. to use it anyways to fight the same thing exactly right yeah right then <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah how was it komal it was amazing it was enlightening it just broadened my horizons of mind <laughs> okay i'm glad that you did not yawn <laughs> that would have made me feel terrible and very unsuccessful <laughs> <laughs> no, i was listening to you uh, as always i mm. do so that was nice and uh, okay. i really hope that audience also loved it i wanted to talk about james webb space telescope a little bit because it's been a while since yeah. we talked about space science and technology but i guess that we are running out of time and yeah. next one we can definitely discuss it in detail exactly yeah because i, I feel in next one also i'll remain silent <laughs> <laughs> you can always ask questions komal yeah, like the amount of questions uh, i asked over here hmm. the same number of question it will be there <laughs> why why is that i feel so <laughs> hmm yeah that means that you have understood everything that is good no it's just <laughs> like that in history you, you can't uh, question it that much because they are facts yeah but in science in physics in all these things you can question yeah but there are always like loopholes like why did this happen yeah this i want to do it at right at this moment because mm. i can do that after the after this ends <laughs> i want the information to get transmitted nicely That's about it for Talking Fire podcast. If you have questions, <laughs> comment it down below. That's my radio jockey voice. I would have a decent career over there as well. Yeah, I know and we all know. <laughs> we all know. Yeah. Okay. That's about it guys. We are going to meet again next week. I I promised you last time that we are going to be over here. Yeah. And we are over here. See you next time. Till then. Bye. Take care. Keep smiling and bye-bye. Oh, yeah.